And that's the reason why we are under a microclimate weather alert. Now, normally when we issue these, we're either tracking rain or storms, but the air quality is just as important, especially because we've still got, as you said, a number of wildfires burning, a lot of them as a direct result of that dry lightning event that we saw a couple weeks back. So now, here's what it looks like in San Francisco. No, the camera is not broken. That is dense fog. We've got that marine layer around the coastline, so you can't even see what's supposed to be a view of the city. 56 degrees right now in San Francisco. Overall, we're seeing that coastline really, you know, starting to show with that fog. We've got San Francisco down to about three miles in terms of that visibility. Santa Cruz also seeing that fog. And here's how we're looking when it comes to those temperatures right now. 60 degrees and 59 is the overall temperature trend across the Bay Area. But that air quality today, we do remain under a microclimate weather alert and that will be in place. It was extended through tomorrow. Now, this, of course, is a changing situation depending on how much of a hold they manage to get on these fires. We've got a shift in the winds coming in this afternoon. So for now, the North Bay, the Bay, the East Bay, and the South Bay all sealing unhealthy air quality around the coast and the beaches is still moderate. But again, you shouldn't even be going to the beaches regardless. So the hazy skies, you'll definitely see that throughout the morning. Now, as far as the hour by hour outlook, notice what happens to the coastline. We keep a lot of that cloud cover. And as I mentioned, we're going to get sort of an onshore flow. So some light winds picking up from the north, northwest, and today's forecast will be slightly cooler, just a little bit, but still pretty warm in inland areas. So around San Francisco and Half Moon Bay, expect those 60s down through San Jose, 84, Morgan Hill, 87, and then areas like Concord and Antioch still in those upper 80s, low 90s, up through Clear Lake as well. Let's talk about those winds. So again, anytime we see fires. We don't want to see the winds, but the winds are going to remain overall fairly just breezy with a max wind speed at about 15 miles per hour at some of the higher hilltops. So here's what we're looking at here. San Jose, 12 plus miles per hour. This is around 2.30 in through the afternoon. So this will actually help clear out some of that smoke. But then again, depending on the grass that, th that they have on those fires, we'll probably see, you know, sort of a change in that pattern as we see that high pressure begin to move in from the west northwest and as this high pressure system really starts to take over the Bay Area we see it sit on top of the Bay Area as you know anytime we get high pressure what happens is we dry out and we warm back up so the temperatures in San Francisco will be in the 60s this weekend notice what happens into Monday Tuesday and Wednesday with the arrival of that high pressure system we warm back up into the 70s for San Francisco and then we go into the upper 90s for inland areas so that's where we're going to start to see sort of an increase in in that heat. Kira, I'll send it back to you. Wow. All right, VNA, thanks so much. It is